Hey everybody and welcome back to the Desert Survivalist Bunker. I'm Desert Survivalist 1. We're on part 4 of our Modern Gear series of stuff you might want to use for your prepping gear. Um, today I've got a little bit of Marine Corps and uh, I guess you could technically say Navy gear. I don't know how much they use it. Um, to start off with, this is kind of just a ditty bag in um, Marpat Marine pattern. Uh, Woodland Digital. Uh, the Marines were smart, at least to me. They did two different patterns of the Digital. One Woodland and one uh, Desert. Um, versus the armies did it all as one. But this is a little nice little uh, zip bag. You can use to carry stuff. Single compartment. The floor is kind of hard. Um, has a nice little carry handle or a strap. You can D-ring it to your gear. Uh, for carrying larger items or maybe making a medical, like a car medical kit or something out of. This is not so much new. This is from the original ILBE Marine Corps packs. Uh, this one's contract 2003. This is called the Recon Accessory Pouch. On the outside it has this nice little mesh pocket. Uh, backside it has mole, two large mole straps to put it on the side of the pack. And then uh, inside it's just one long uh, compartment in there. Um, I think this one was by Arcteric, Arcteryx, who made the uh, packs, recon accessory pouch, yeah. This was kind of the Marine Corps version of the Army sustainment pouch. Uh, I believe you had two of these that went on either side of the pack. These are kind of hard to find. Consequently, they're very expensive. They're running around $60 for these pouches. I didn't pay that for this, but uh, um, you know, they have kind of a unique of this whole row of mole that just runs over the entire thing. So you can technically add other pouches to the sides of that. Very good for holding bulky items. You could probably put oh, at least one MRE in there with some other stuff. Um, the bottom is entirely mesh so it drains water really easy. Um, these are very very good to have for your uh, rucksacks or even if you want to just have you know a mini backpack on the pack of one of your on the back of one of your tactical vests or plate carriers or something you could use this as that. Um, probably one of the best pickups I've made in the past couple months of gear. Um, we also have a few pouches. All these, I believe, are made by Eagle, um, who's become a very big supplier of Marine Corps gear. This is one of their uh, let's see here, speed reload pouches. Um, it's got Kydex lining. It'll hold one uh, military metal uh, M14 mag, or excuse me, excuse me, not M14, M4. Um, that's Kydex, and it's got kind of almost a felt lining to it in there. This can Velcro down flat, or it can Velcro, you know, how it was over the over the top if you need to have everything covered. Um, nice gear. I don't know what other patterns they come in. This, these were kind of based off the uh, Marine Corps speed reloads pouches that we showed you in uh, part three, but uh, this one's a little bit larger. Um, and it has those kind of those new style plastic snap covers to them as well. Snaps are metal, but the covers are plastic. These are made by Eagle. Um, these two pouches are essentially the same thing. Only one's got the Molle connection, and one's got a nice belt loop um, with so, with that has Velcro in it. You could not put it on a pistol belt. It's not that big, um, but like a regular pants belt or something, you could or use a D-ring to connect it to your gear. And again, that's like a nice little general purpose. If you've got, I want to say if you've got like an M1A or M14 mags, they would probably fit in these because they're just so wide um, and, and deep. M4 mags, you probably get two in there. They're four smoke grenades, but... And then this is a just a basic frag pouch with a belt loop. It's pretty small. I was not very impressed with 
uh, to be honest, how wimpy the buckle and wimpy this webbing is. Um, the rest of it's built pretty well, so it's not really for hard use, apparently, but um, you know, use it for whatever you use a frag grenade page pouch for, you know, compass matches, that sort of thing. But uh, that's kind of some uh, Marine Corps type camo gear. Uh, this is, oh boy, let me get straight here. This is just the Marpat Desert pattern, and this is what's called AOR2. I forget what that stands for. Bear with me, but it's the newer uh, green. The Navy uh, has done away with their blue digital and has gone to this. It's a little bit off. If you'll notice that the Marine, it doesn't have any brown in it. It has kind of that very light green instead. Um, that's highly. Pro this is highly prized by the airsoft people, so it's pretty expensive. And Marine Corps stuff of any of this modern digital stuff is pretty hard to find and consequently it's fairly expensive so this is kinda you know if you need it if you want it and have the money for it gear more than uh... stuff that you're gonna find everywhere although i would suggest if you can find one of these recon accessory pouches uh... get one of those because that is a very flexible piece of gear for you but we'll be on to part five next time guys